Hello guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about concurrent collections in Java. Okay, so we have different types of concurrent collections in Java. So we have hash map, hash table, synchronized hash map, and current current hash map. Okay, so basically, if you attend like any interview, so the interviewer may ask like hash map or hash table or like synchronized hash map or concurrent hash map. So either like he may ask the differences between the hash map versus hash table or like synchronized hash map versus concurrent hash map, right? So you should have like uh, good knowledge on each topic. Okay, so uh, by design like all the collection classes in Java dot util package are fail fast. So whereas like collection classes in Java dot util dot concurrent are like fail safe. Okay, so fail fast iterators throw the concurrent modification exception. So whereas like fail safe iterator never throws concurrent modification exception. Okay, first of all like what is concurrent modification exception so the concurrent modification exception occurs when an object is trying to be modified concurrently when it is not permissible okay so this may be happen when a thread is trying to modify the collection object while it is being iterated by some fail fast iterator then this iterator will throw the concurrent modification exception so in java 5 so below are the concurrent classes has been introduced in Java that you will learn concurrent packages. So one is like countdown latch and cyclic barrier and copy and write array list and concurrent hash map and blocking queue. Okay, so if you are having like a requirement, so depends on the requirement you can use any one of this concurrent classes. Okay, so like if concurrent modification exception is throwing, then we can use copy and write array list or like concurrent hash map or like we can use collections dot utility classes we have like synchronized map app synchronized list okay so we have different types of implementations okay so i'm going to cover like uh, so this all the combinations we have six combinations here so the interviewer may ask like the differences between hash map versus hash table or like hash table versus synchronized hash map or like synchronized hash map versus concurrent hash map right so you should have thorough knowledge on this so when you are going to attend the interview you should be remembered like this six parameters okay so if you are talking about like hash map or hash table so first of all we have to be have a knowledge on like whether it's a synchronized or like so how many threads it's going to perform so it's going to evaluate the null keys and null values or not so what kind of iterator it's going to be written and when we have to use whether we have to we are going to use in the single threaded environment or like multi-threaded environment okay so coming to the hash map okay so if you are talking about the hash map basically hash map is not thread safe that means like it is not synchronized so so if multiple threads are accessing the same hash map then so trying to modifying the structure of the hash map then it may be a cause of inconsistency in the state of the hash map right so if it is not synchronized then there is no lock so if there is no lock so n, n number of threads will be allowed to operate on the given object right and so coming to like um, null keys and null values it allows like one null key and n number of null values so basically hash map will returns one iterator so that iterator is fail fast iterator that means like it will throws the concurrent modification exception so when to use we can use in the single threaded single threaded environment okay so this is hash map okay so basically so if you want to use in multi-threaded environment so either we can use uh, so you must write your code in synchronized block or like we can use the external lock implementation but while, while you are dealing with the synchronized block or like external, external lock implementation so you should take care like um, a proper take care and in in the case of like dead, deadlock situations and the errors okay but so but like uh, it's not advisable to use in the multi-threaded environment by using this hash map so basically we have like uh, so uh, different types of concurrent collection classes we can use that okay so we have a hash table basically this hash table is a synchronized so all the operations of all the methods are synchronized here so if it is synchronized like uh, so we will have lock so that lock is object level lock so that means like it will lock like entire object okay so if, if lock like entire object the other threads so only one thread will allow to be operated on the given object on the hash table object so other thread should be 8 in the queue so until and until and unless complete the task this thread 
ओके एंड एंड कमिंग टू द नल केस एंड नल वैल्यूज बेसिकली इट डज नॉट अलोज द नल केस एंड नल वैल्यूज ओके एंड कमिंग टू द इटरेटर दिस हैश टेबल विल रिटर्न द इटरेटर दैट इटरेटर विल ए फेल सेफ दैट मीन्स लाइक इट वोट थ्रो एनी कंक्रेंट मॉडिफिकेशन एक्सेप्शन सो वेन टू यूज दिस वन बेसिकली इट्स ए लेगेसी क्लास गाइज सो इट शुड नॉट बी रिकमेंडेड टू बी यूज बिकॉज वी हैव कलेक्शन डॉट सिंक्रोनाइज मैप आर सिंक्रोनाइज लिस्ट वी हैव इटरेट क्लास राइट सो वी कैन यूज दैट एंड वी हैव लाइक कंक्रेंट हैश मैप एज वेल सो वी कैन मेक यूज ऑफ दैट so it's a legacy one hash table is a legacy one it's not recommend to be used so coming to the synchronous hash map basically synchronous hash map also like uh, synchronized all the operations are all the methods are synchronized here so object level lock is there and only one thread will be allowed here all, here as well and the difference between the hash table and the synchronous hash map is hash table does not allows the keys and values whereas like um, synchronous hash map will allows like only one null key and n number of null values coming to the iterator basically the hash table will uh, returns the fail safe iterator whereas like synchronous hash map will returns the fail fast iterator so synchronous hash map will get the concurrent modification exception while you are using like hash table it won't throws the concurrent modification exception if you are trying to modify something while being iterated so basically like synchronous hash map is recommended to be used in the multi threaded environment okay so if it is really required to use in the multi threaded environment based on the requirement you can use in multi threaded environment okay and coming to the concurrent hash map so concurrent hash map is not synchronize the whole map basically only write operations are synchronized here so you can perform like n number of threads on n number of segments basically concurrent hash map will be create 16 segments by default so 16 threads can be performed the write operations on the 16 segments at a time and coming to the read operations for the read operations there is no lock so basically it will perform the segment level lock so 16 th threads perform the update operations whereas like n number of threads can be performed the read operations that is advantage by using the concurrent hash map so coming to the null case and null values basically it does not allows the null case and null values okay so coming to the iterator so concurrent hash map will return the fail safe iterator that means like if you are trying to modifying so while being iterated so then it won't throws the concurrent modification exception okay so it's it's recommended to use in multi threaded environment if it is really required so if then we can use in multi threaded environment okay so compared to this all the three concurrent collection classes so concurrent hash map is faster okay so this is recommended one so if you want to use in multi threaded environment you can use the concurrent hash map okay because we don't have any lock for the read operations we have lock only for the write operations moreover like we can perform like 16 write operations on the 16 segments at a time okay so that's it guys so if you like this video so please go ahead and like and subscribe my youtube channel okay thanks thanks for watching bye have a good day